Hey everyone, today I want to talk about Philip K. Dick's Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep? And I'm not really sure about this book. Earth is an apocalyptic world now. It's covered in radioactive dust after the last war and a lot of the population has fled the planet and lives in colonies out on Mars and on the moon and somewhere. And out there they have androids helping them build the colonies. Basically they are used as cheap labor or slaves. But on Earth, androids are rather illegal because the androids look like humans, especially the newest design or the newest model, the Nexus 6, is almost identical to a human being. So they have to be hunted down and retired because you don't kill an android. It's not human, you cannot kill it, you just retire it. And that's the basic idea. We have six androids running around on Earth and Rick Deckard as a bounty hunter goes after them and tries to retire them. So that part I'm totally okay with. I thought the story was interesting and it was captivating, the action kept going, but I did have the feeling that I'm missing something about the story, something about the impressiveness of this thing. And partly I do have to admit that I think the story would have been more impressive if I had read it in the 1970s when it was written. But now in 2013, a lot of the technology that is discussed, we have, and so it's not that amazing and mind-blowing anymore. Another huge part of the story is the difference between the androids and humans and how it's always made clear that they are not human and that they cannot live freely but that the androids kind of have the desire to live and be free. But I had the feeling that in the book there was no question left. That is a big problem that I have with this book that all the questions that were raised were basically answered. In the end of the book, I didn't feel that there was a question, what is life and what makes a human being a human being, because it is answered. We know why the androids have to be retired. We know what's different about them. We know why they cannot be allowed to live. And that kind of disturbed me in a way that I cannot really explain. The same goes for mercerism. In the book, there is a new religion. It's called mercerism and basically it's all animal life is sacred. You cannot kill animals. And if you don't take care of an animal, you get an electric animal to pretend you have a real animal because real animals are expensive. And that's a huge part of the story that Rick Deckard always compares prices for real animals and he wants to have a real animal to take care of and it's a huge part of his quest. So mercerism seems to be the main religion in this world. And even that is not really a question because towards the end, the questions about mercerism are solved as well. The questions about mercer and everything that the people believe in and it's said there, so there is nothing that you have to think about after reading the book. Now, I finished this book a few days ago and I kept thinking, what's wrong with the book? Why, why do I feel that I'm not getting it, that I'm missing the point? So I went and watched the film Blade Runner, which is based on this story. And I thought it was very interesting because Blade Runner only focuses on Rick Deckard hunting the androids. But what it does is make more prominent the feeling of the androids to be alive, not wanting to die and to be human. And it also shows much better the question that Rick Deckard has towards the androids and towards the retiring, because at some point in the book, he questions that as well. But in the book, it gets answered, it gets solved. And we just know androids need to be killed. But in the film, there is a different ending and the whole story is completely different. But it leaves the androids in a much more human light than the book. So in a way, watching the film showed me what I disliked about the book. I didn't like that everything in the book was answered, that all the questions that were raised, all the philosophical problems that were raised were solved in my opinion. I know that a lot of people on booktube have read the book this year. So let me know what you thought, what your experience was with all of that. And just tell me in comments because I'm confused.